Hello! <laughs> hello, hello, I'm Jo, and welcome to the video. So today, I kind of just want to chill. I feel like I can't go a video now without mentioning the fact that I'm an art block, and it's making me question some things, you know? It's making me think, like, maybe it's not that I have art block, but just that I don't create as much as other people. But, um, that's besides the point. So today, I kind of... I don't want to say I want to be lazy, but I want to do something chill, laid back, something that like I can fully enjoy, something I don't have to put any pressure on myself to perfect. And what better thing to do than to look up outfits that I like on Pinterest and draw them. So I did just that, like uh, with these the other night. And then I continued on to this page. I love how she turned out. I think she looks so cute. I tried to draw her again right here, but as you can tell, it didn't really work. And then these two aren't really like outfits or anything. They're just people I thought looked cool. And so I tried my best to like get the dimensions of their face down and stuff like that. And it didn't really work because they look good, but it doesn't look like the person I was drawing. So for my next spread-ish, minus this, I think I'm gonna start on this page, even though there's a little bit of marker bleed through right here, but that's okay. And I think I'm just gonna start drawing some ladies with outfits that I like. Now, I will say I'll probably be picking up my sketchbook and looking at it a lot because I hate drawing from this angle because my drawings always end up looking skewed. But today I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna sketch on camera for once because I've never done that. So this is gonna be fun. Time to get out the supplies. So we got my good old fashioned polymer eraser, my uh, kneaded eraser, which I love. And then I should have a pencil. There we go. There's my handy dandy mechanical pencil. And I think that should be all I'm using. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just gonna go through the results for this and pick three outfits to draw because that just seems like the easiest number to choose. <laughs> and if I end up only wanting to do like two, then I can, you know, no pressure. Like I said, this is just kind of a relaxing video for me to make. I've gone through a lot of these and some of them aren't speaking to me as much as I thought they would be. So, oh, actually, I like that one a lot. Okay, I think that's gonna be my third one. Let me pull up my art reference board. All right, so we got my three outfits that I think are so cute. And I'm gonna start off with this one. Okay, also, sorry if the audio quality changes here. I think I'm gonna switch to a voiceover after this point. So, here we go. Here's me talking as a voiceover. Hello, voiceover Joe. Hello, Video Joe. It's voiceover Joe here. So, for the editing of this draw with me, I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I usually do. By usually do, I mean what I've done for the only two draw with me's that I've made so far. Usually what I'll do is I'll just record my process and then I'll speed up my process. So like for my Princess Peach video, I recorded me coloring it in with my Copic markers and then I edited the videos by just speeding them up. I didn't really have to clip them down or anything unless I stepped away from the camera for a bit and then there was a lot of empty space. So, you know, I got rid of that, but I kind of wanted to be lazy with the editing for those videos because I was having so much trouble coming up with things to say for like the voiceover like I'm doing right now. I watch a lot of art content on YouTube, specifically Draw With Me's because I like to play them in the background as I draw. You know, I think they're really inspiring. I like hearing what other artists have to say about their art and their art journey. And I also just like listening to them ramble in general. But one thing I noticed about other people's draw with me's is that they don't really speed up their process. Usually what I'll see is they'll just keep the video like going the same speed as it was being recorded, but they'll just cut down like their sketches to their most important strokes or their painting to their most important strokes. Again, I hate using the word strokes, but you know what I mean. 
And so I, I observed that and I was like, hmm, hmm, I could probably do that for my video. So that's what I'm doing right now. I think the end product turned out okay, but editing this? Like, I've never realized how much I pause whenever I'm sketching until I had to edit this video. Because like, it felt like I would make a line and then I would pause for like five minutes and then I would make two other lines and then I'd pause. Then I'd get the gesture line down and then I'd pause. And I think it's just because I like to let myself go a little brain dead whenever I sketch. I think sketching is relaxing, but it does not make for a very entertaining viewer experience, I don't think. At least the editing experience wasn't fun. <laughs> it, it, it really wasn't. But like I said, I think the end product turned out okay. So overall, I'm, you know, I'm happy with the editing. And I think I might do all of my draw with me's edited like this from now on. But let me know if you like it edited like this or if you prefer the sped up version. Because, you know, ultimately, really what my viewers want is what I want. Personally, I think it makes the video look a lot more polished and a lot more clean. But I also think the editing can be a bit choppy sometimes. So I don't know. Constructive criticism. Just, you know, just let me know. But yeah, I, I am happy with it, and I'm glad I tried this new style of editing out. Now it's time to talk about the thing that I really want to talk about, which is fashion! Woo! Yay! I love fashion. I love shopping. I love coming up with new outfits. I love watching as, like, the fashion world evolves and just watching everyone's clothing just go through styles. I think it's so fun. It just, it makes me happy. In fact, half the time when I'm taking a break from art, I low-key get a shopping addiction because I am just constantly online looking at clothes. I don't buy them, I'm able to restrain myself, but I love window shopping. <laughs> and so you may be wondering, well Joe, what kind of style of clothing do you like? And that is kind of a difficult question to answer, because I don't really know what it's called. I'll put up a few outfits that I've worn recently up on screen, not with my face though, y'all aren't getting that yet. So as you can tell, it's it's very cutesy. I like skirts, I like leg warmers, I love pink, I love bright colors. I rarely use neutral colors. I do like neutral colors, I just prefer bright ones because they make me happy. But I feel like I don't even do my own sense of style justice. And so some examples of fashion that I like are users like Azyla and Ken Latte on Instagram. They are the blueprint for how I want to dress. But kind of going back to like when I have those mini shopping addictions, I feel like that's really only started recently whenever I started posting on my Instagram, which is not public because it's a personal Instagram. But I started posting on there and all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't wear this outfit again because I've posted it on Instagram. And I can't wear this one either because I've posted it too. It started like making me think that I can't wear an outfit more than once just because I've taken a photo of myself in it. It's really interesting to me how I can fall into that mindset and how anyone can fall into that mindset because I really don't know where it comes from. Maybe it's the desire to like show off that you have more than you actually do. Or, you know, it could just be as innocent as like, oh, I've already shown this outfit and I kind of want to get another cute one anyway, so like just let me buy another one. Before the quarantine, I was one of those people that would just kind of grab the first t-shirt and the first pair of shorts that was in my drawer. I would slap them on me and be like, okay, whatever, this is what I'm wearing today. I had no idea what fashion meant. I also used to have a lot more internalized misogyny than I do today. And so I would just kind of be like, oh, well, that's a girly thing and I'm not really that girly. But yeah, I am. I totally am girly, what the heck. So whenever the quarantine hit, and I downloaded TikTok and I started seeing a bunch of people wearing like such cute outfits and such cute things that I wanted to wear. I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I should start considering fashion. My style nowadays is like nothing like what it used to be. I used to really want to be a Harajuku kind of decora girly. And if you know their outfits, you know they are like extra extra. And I'm not saying that to be insulting. They just, that's just kind of what they are. They have a billion bright accessories. They have very layered outfits that are all bright. I mean, I was into kid core back then, so like, it makes sense. My sense of style has definitely evolved since then. I think I still have some of the core elements of what I used to dress like. Like, I love bright colors so much. 
And if that's what you want, I'm not dissing you. Good for you, because there are some people who can rock that. It's just not really my taste, you know? But yeah, that's my little fashion ramble. Um, I think I should be about done with this sketch. She's looking pretty good so far, isn't she? So I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna let Video Joe do the rest of the talking for this section. Okay, so I stopped recording for a second to go get water and I just realized I haven't drawn her face and I'm really scared to. So I think I'm gonna do that off camera because I know if I draw it at an angle, it's gonna look messed up. So let me do that real quick. Okay, I like I like I like what we have so far. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to work with this. So I think we're gonna settle on this as a face. This all this. Overall, I think she turned out really cute. Um I just picked my sketchbook up and I just looked at it and I can definitely tell her body is a bit more elongated than I wanted it to be, but like I said, drawing at an angle is a struggle. I'm trying my best. So we're I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continue. Okay, now that I'm done with this one, we're gonna go on to them. Look at them. I feel like this reference is gonna be a bit more difficult for me to use. She's just like standing at such a different angle than she is. I don't know. I love the outfit though. It's, it's, it's very neat. Okay guys, voiceover Joe, back at it again. And I'm about to ramble to y'all about how I'm in my senior year of high school. So yeah, I'm in my senior year of high school, and as I am recording this, it is halfway through March, which means I officially have about two months left of high school, which is absolutely crazy. I think my last day of school officially is May 9th, which is a lot sooner than a lot of schools in America, but I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> it is really weird to me though that like my high school years and like my experience is just like, it's gonna be over so soon. All these people that I have to deal with every day, I'm, I'm never gonna see them again. In fact, whenever I was trying to decide what college I was going to go to, which I've decided now and I have everything sorted out for it, but um, when I was trying to decide, it was between these two specific colleges, and part of the reason I chose the one that I chose is because I knew almost no one going to that school, and that made me so happy. Whereas if I had went to the other college I chose, I would have known, like, at least 50 people going there from my school. And I would be getting a different degree from most of them, so it's not like I would see them at all. But I just, I need to get myself away from these people, dude. And it's not even like they do anything wrong to me. Um, in school, I'm a very quiet person. I don't really talk to anyone unless you're a friend of mine. And even then, sometimes I don't talk because I just don't want to. School has been very draining for me for that reason, mainly because I am like an introverted introvert. That and social anxiety doesn't really help. I don't know, it's just, it's so liberating. At the same time, while that's liberating, senior year has been stressing me out because I have been hit with a wave of senioritis recently. This year, I've been lucky enough to get teachers who don't really care about turning things in late and getting to classes late and just, I don't know, they're just all very chill. And I don't know if that's normal for like senior teachers, but like years past, my teachers have been, they've been kind of strict, more strict than the teachers I've had this year so far. But like, I have two teachers where like, you could walk into class 30 minutes late and they won't question you. They'll just be like, okay, you're here now, I guess. And all my classes this year are like, so easy. Like, I, I don't know. The only class I feel like I have to try in is AP Calc, and that is where the senioritis has been kicking me in the butt. Because I'm going into an art field. I don't really need this class. In fact, calculus wasn't a required class for me to take. I, I took AP Calculus just in case I would decide to go into, like, engineering or something STEM related, but I didn't. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to school for animation. So I don't really have a use for this class. That's not to say I don't try in it anymore. I just try less than I did before. And it stresses me out so much because I don't know what's going on in there like half the time. I feel like that's how AP Calc is for most people though because I have heard horror stories of that class. 
and now i'm thinking about it i still need to pay the fee for my ap test I'm <laughs> i just forgot about it um anyways so yeah there's my school ramble if you're going into your senior year next year good luck i wish you the best i hope that your future is good i hope you have it all worked out because i certainly don't <laughs> don't put too much pressure on yourself put enough pressure on yourself to where you'll succeed but don't burn yourself out because i don't know high school's just kind of been weird in general for me mainly because half of it was knocked out by quarantine high school is weird I'm just rambling on about stuff. I'm so sorry, y'all. But anyways, isn't the drawing looking good? Isn't it looking so good right now? Spoiler alert for the end result of this drawing. It ends up being my favorite. That's why I put it front and center in the thumbnail. I think there are things I could have done better with her, but like, I don't know. I love her pose. She looks so cool. She looks so funky. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I don't really have much more to talk about right now. So I think I'm just gonna play some Mario Kart music that I like in the background while I finish the footage for this section. If you want to skip to a part where I'm talking, just skip to this timestamp on screen. But for now, just, just enjoy some Mario Kart music. Actually, I lied. It's not Mario Kart music, but um, it's Nintendo music, so close enough. Enjoy.
y'all like that cool little transition I did there? That sounded so country. Um, anyways, like I said before, she turned out to be my favorite one. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. She took a bit longer to make than the other ones did. I think mainly because I put the most effort into her. I also think she was the most difficult to draw just because of her pose. I'm not really used to drawing foreshortened things, so I definitely took a risk with this one, but I think it paid off. I'm gonna let Editor Joe explain some technical difficulties that happened with the next one that I was gonna draw. Yeah, just, just, just take it away, Editor Joe. Hi, Editor Joe here. Fun fact, I forgot to record the process for her. So when I went to record her, I thought I had pressed the record button. Turns out I did not, and I didn't even realize I forgot until I finished like recording the entire video. Great, great job on my part. Great. So let's return to the video. Let's just return to the video. I'm about to do a cool reveal of her face in a second. So just, just watch that. Okay, so I finished her. I don't know how to feel about the face. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't really like it that much, but I'm gonna settle for what I have. And this, yeah, this is, this is just gonna be it. This is it. Actually, hold on. I feel like there's like too much white. I feel like this needs to be, needs to be dark. Gotta add some contrast there. Okay, yeah. I like that better. Okay, so I ended up drawing her. Move out of my way. Her and her, out of all of them, I think I like her the best. This one was definitely more of like my warm up one. I still like it a lot, but then you look over here and just like, dude, she looks so much cooler. I don't know if it's just because her clothes are less baggy or just, I don't know. There's just something about it. I just like her more. I also love how I gave her like the little fire hair. It just, it just all looks cool to me. And with my final one, I think I might like this one the least just because I feel like her face looks wonky and anytime a face looks wonky, it just kind of messes up the entire thing for me. I like how I drew her body though. I think, I think it looks good. I like the pants too. I definitely think she's the messiest out of all of them. Like, let me go back. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's probably the messiest. I still like her though. I think, I think she's pretty fun. So that should be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment, and maybe, mayhaps, subscribe. I think for my next video, I'm going to get a head start with my AP portfolio. And by head start, I mean extremely late start. I have not done one thing for my AP portfolio all year. So my next video, I think, is going to take a little bit longer to make. Uh, I think I'm going to start filming for it two days after I record this video, which I think this video should be done by that day. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one.